Alright everybody, I want to show you a quick preview of the upcoming version of Race Tab. Still not released. I'm probably uh, I've sent out a few betas and we'll send out a few more betas and alphas, but um still probably at least a month away. But I want to show you what's coming up here. We're we're working really hard to have some really good integration with IPCO. And not only we're we going to be able to import the IPCO format text files, but we'll be able to do uh live uh, talking to the reader over the network. So what we can do here, I'm going to open up this uh, meet file that I have. Um, you can see the new the new look for uh, for race tab. Um, it's a kind of a full screen ish kind of thing. Um, it, it looks a lot different, but it's uh, actually you know the basic premise is very similar. Anyway, um, for the IPCO, I'm going to go over here to the events tab, and up here at the top, I'm going to um, select my events, select this random 8K here. It's kind of a test thing. And uh, then I'm going to click this IPCO link here at the top. It's going to bring up this screen. And um, and then you can see over here on the right-hand side, what I'm running is uh, an IPCO simulator program um, that they put out. So I got that running, so that's going to act like I have a, a continuous stream of, of tags coming from the reader. And over here in the, in the simulator, I can specify uh, a port that I want it to be on. And so over here in Race Tab, I have my IP address, which is my local IP address on the network, um, and then I have my port, which is the port that IPCO is set to stream at. So first of all, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to set mine to debug, so I'm not actually importing the time into the races, but you can set it as a starting mat, a finish mat, uh, or just for debug, which won't import into your race, just as uh, it's for just for testing. Um, you know, in the future, we'll support some splits. In the first version, we're just going to um, support start and finish mats, not uh, split mats. Um, so what we can do then over here in IPCO is I'm going to say uh, start serving. Um, actually, let me stop. Uh, i got to tell it to do something. I'm not really sure exactly how this program works, but I think this is what I have to do here. Um, Sorry, I don't know how this program works over here. Let's try this. Yeah, there we go. All right, start serving. Hopefully this works. Boom, there we go. So I open the connection up here in Race Tab, and you can see this long stream of data that's coming over here. It's coming very fast and furious, but that's what I Pico sending me, all that stuff. So the connection's in place. The nice thing about it is we can go back and do other things in Race Tab. It's running in its own thing in the background, and how we know it's running is up here right at the top of race tab we see this little um, IPCO icon and so if I click that I can get back to um, to that this window and I can close the connection I can open the connection um, all that kind of stuff um, but we can again the point is we can open it for listening and then go back and you know enter some more athletes if we need to do that do whatever we need to do in the course of of running the event and it's still going to be importing so that's that and Appreciate you watching. Hopefully um, you enjoy it when we come out with the, this version.